Hey Robot Dreams, I hear you have some questions for me about VEX Robotics. Well, that connection, while important, isn't really our main focus in the VEX Robotics competition. What we're trying to do is broaden the base of exposure for students uh, using technology. We've chosen competitive robotics mainly because uh, everyone really likes to compete and we think robotics is a very cool industry. So by putting uh, robots in a competitive environment, the students can really learn about the design and build process for an objective, right? because that's really all robotics are. When, you, when, when we implement robotics, there's an objective to be made that somebody wants to automate. Well, in our game, we have a game that has to be played and the students have to create a robot for that objective. So it's the creative process, the design process, the, uh, the engineering process, and then also teamwork and project management. So while there's not a direct connection between the robots on the field here and robots that could maybe uh, you know, assist people in everyday living, the connection is in, through the process by which that they, they use their critical thinking skills. Well, VEX has a very specific purpose. Uh, I'm actually a FIRST Robotics Competition mentor myself, um, and that, that's a really high-end robotics competition. What VEX is trying to do is get to more students at an earlier age and lower level. So we're trying to really, what, what I said, broaden the base of exposure for students in robotics. So uh, while there's many, many students that do all sorts of different events, BEST, BOP Ball, MATE, and FIRST, VEX tries to really localize that competition and lower the hurdle for students and schools to get involved into, in competitive robotics, which could lead to them doing other programs. We have many, many schools here, including uh, a student you'll be talking to soon, that does not just VEX robotics, but they also do FIRST as well. Basically, not only VEX, but what my vision is, is every single high school in the United States North America and across the world will have a robotics program in elementary school, middle school, and high school. While I would prefer it would be the VEX Robotics Competition, we really just want to see a robotics program in every school, much like football or baseball is in every school in the U.S. today. So my vision in five years is that the majority of high schools have a robotics program, and in ten years I want every middle, elementary, and high school to have a robotics program. Well, really, it's, it's all about the impact that we make on the students at the local level. So once we get sustainable robotics programs in every school, that's how we'll know we're successful. And as our growth rate continues, we went from 3,500 teams last year competing to now 5,000. That growth rate has been sustained for the last five years. We're really trying to get to that point where we have over 130,000 schools in the United States. Once we're making a very small dent one year at a time, uh, so, so we have a long way to go, but as we keep increasing the exposure to these students, competitive robotics is going to become a household name. Well, I can name one really uh, recent example of an uh, important lesson we've learned uh, this past season, which is the need to really be prepared when designing a machine like a VEX robot. I mean, um, I've been doing VEX for several years now, and um, this is my third year on the team. In some of the previous years, what we did was, when we saw a game, we would basically just get right down and building, you know? It would start out as a simple prototype and we would start building a robot around that. And that's all, that, that, that's all good, and prototyping is important. But, you know, when you let the prototype become the final product, you know, that becomes a problem. So this year, what we realized was, by actually separating the prototyping process from the build process, uh, we could achieve much better results and have a much more smoothly functioning machine. And the way we did this this year was by using computer-aided design to plan out a robot beforehand. And so when it came down to build time, it took only about a week to actually build the robot because it had bit, we had spent months designing it before. Well, of course, there's no uh, direct application for VEX itself, probably, but for the skills that we learn, I mean, it will, I think, be very important, especially in today's really tech-oriented world. Um, I mean, my, uh, personally on the team, I'm a programmer. I write the code that makes the robot run. And, you know, I'm, I've always been interested in software, you know, computer science. And, you know, the experience with writing code for a robot 
is important for experience in the future in the computing industry. You know, writing code for robotics is very similar to programming embedded devices, for example. And you know, that's one way in which the skills can be directly applied.